On this episode, the Doctrine of Sufficiency. Howdy y'all, I'm Pastor Mark. I'm the pastor of Copeland Christian Church, and this is Theological Moments with Pastor Mark. Well, it's good to be back with y'all today. I hope you enjoyed last week where you got a double dose with a special 4th of July episode. Today, we're going to be discussing uh, what's called sufficiency. In short, this doctrine says that all a Christian needs for salvation and holy living is found in the Bible. That is, that the Bible is sufficient. And so I bring this up today because, uh, from my perspective, uh, this doctrine is under attack. Just the idea is that the Bible is all well and good, right? It's fine, just like Christianity itself, for that matter, as long as we don't take it too seriously or too literally. Uh, we don't want to become fundamentalists. It is true that there are other places to find helpful information about life. Indeed, I would argue that the Bible is not a great answer book in the sense that it won't tell you whether uh, you should buy that new truck or Mally, Sally, or Billy. It is not uh, the great answer book to every question in life. Yet, it will tell you a whole hinkin' lot about how to handle your money and how to be a good steward of the resources God has given you. Indeed, it will tell you everything you need to know about those things. It will also tell you the type of mate that you are to seek, the type of partner that God wants you to have for life. And it must be through the lens of the Bible that we consider other sources of information. So let's take a minute and see what the Bible has to say for itself. The primary scripture for this, in my opinion at least, is 2 Timothy 3, 15 through 17, which reads, The holy scriptures, which make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. All scriptures God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be fully equipped for every good work. It is only the Bible which contains the true gospel, that is, that Jesus Christ died for your sins and rose again from the dead. No man-made writing contains this gospel. None of it contains the necessary information for salvation. That is, that salvation is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Additionally, Paul tells Timothy, it is good for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. And each of these are key elements of the Christian life. Any rebuke or correction ought to necessarily be supported scripturally. If it isn't, then by what standard is a person making a correction and with what authority? Righteousness is simply being morally correct according to God's standard. And how can we know what that standard is unless we have been trained in righteousness by God's word? Further, no human writing is sufficient to equip us for every good work. That is the kingdom work which God has for us, that we are preordained to walk in. Furthermore, note that the scriptures are sufficient to thoroughly equip us. Now, this word thoroughly, a whole, completely, we don't need anything else but God's word to equip us for life. Let me share one more passage with you. This is Psalm 19, 7 through 14. And in it, we're going to see David praise God's word. He says, The law of God is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. And the fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. And they are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. And by them your servant is warned, and keeping them there is great reward. I hope this discussion was helpful for you. If it was, click the like button, go ahead and share the video. If you have a comment, please leave it or give me suggestions for future videos. Uh, thank you for watching today. I appreciate your support. If you haven't yet subscribed, do so. Click the notification buttons. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.